This video will review and help you to understand how to do the slope-intercept form of a linear equation. The slope-intercept form of a linear equation is written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Be sure that when you write the y-intercept, you write it as a coordinate, 0, comma, whatever that b value is. Here's an example of how we use it. Given the equation y equals 5x plus 4, identify the slope and y-intercept. The slope is the coefficient of x, the number in front of it. Therefore, I can see that the slope of this equation is m equals 5. The y-intercept is told me by the constant, the plus 4. I therefore know the y-intercept is the coordinate 0, 4. Now I'm going to put up three examples for you to try. Spend a moment and try these. If you need additional time, pause the video and restart when you're ready. I'll give you a couple seconds. In the first equation, y equals 10x minus 13, I see that the coefficient of x is 10. Therefore, the slope of this line is 10. The line goes up 10 and 1 to the right. Up 10, 1 to the right. The constant is negative 13, so that tells me that the y-intercept will be 0, comma, negative 13. It's important to recognize if there's a subtraction problem, minus 13 here, that when I write the y-intercept, it's a negative value. <clears throat> For problem 2, I see that the coefficient of x is 1 half. Therefore, the slope of this line is 1 half. Now, this is not hard to graph. It just tells me that each time I go up from a point, I go up 1 and 2 to the right. Up 1, 2 to the right. The y-intercept is 0, 8. Problem 3 looks a little tougher because of the decimals, but it's not. It just tells me that the slope is 2.6 and the y-intercept is 0, negative 1.9. Now, we can also do this in the reverse order. If I'm told the slope and the y-intercept, I can also construct the equation of the line. I know that the equation of a line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. To find the equation, all I need to do is substitute in my m and b values. If my slope is negative 6, I can rewrite the equation y equals, substituting in the negative 6, and then x. The y-intercept is 0, 3, which is positive, which means I'll add 3 at the end of the equation. Therefore, the equation is just y equals negative 6x plus 3. Here's two examples for you to try. Again, if you need additional time, pause the video. I'll give you a couple seconds. The first equation would be constructed using m is 3 and b is negative 1. Therefore, writing in the form y equals mx plus b, we get y equals 3x and then minus 1. In the second equation, the slope is 3 fourths and the y-intercept is 0, negative 11. Again, substituting the values in m and b, I would get y equals 3 fourths x and then minus 11. Pretty easy. Now what we really use slope-intercept for form for is for graphing. If you're taking notes on this at home, make sure to copy down these steps. They'll help you later. Here's the steps for graphing using slope-intercept form. First, identify the slope and y-intercept. Given the form y equals mx plus b, find what is m and what is the b value. Make sure you write the y-intercept as a coordinate. Second, plot the y-intercept. This is the starting point that we know for sure from the equation. Once we have a point for the y-intercept, we'll use the slope to find a second and probably a third point. It's always a best idea to have more than two points. Two points is the minimum number of points to establish a line, but a few more points to make sure that we get the line going exactly where it should. Lastly, draw the line. Make sure it goes through the points. If you're drawing a line, it should be straight. Make sure you use a ruler. Make sure to put arrows at the end of the line. So to recap, identify the slope and y-intercept, plot the y-intercept, use the slope to find a few more points, then use a ruler to draw the line. Let's look at a few examples. Given the equation y equals 3x minus 2, identify the slope and y-intercept. If you said the slope is 3 and the y-intercept is 0, negative 2, good job. Now this graph already has the x, the y, and the numbers. We call that the label and the scale. If the graph is blank, that's up to you. You will lose points or gain points whether you do this or don't do this on the test. We then plot the y-intercept. It's the only point we know for sure right now. 0, negative 2 tells me we're going to go 2 units down from the origin. 0, negative 2 would be down here. To find the other points on the line, we use the slope. 
If the slope is 3, or written 3 over 1, we can move by this slope to find the additional points. If we count 3 units up from our first point, which is 0, negative 2, and go 1 to the right, we would land here at 1, 1. Again, I recommend doing this a few times. So from that new point, go up an additional 3 and over 1. This next coordinate is at 2, 4. I can see for sure what the line's going to look like. I'll then take a ruler and draw a straight line. Make sure to put arrows and the equation next to the line, y equals 3x minus 2. In our next example, identify the slope and y-intercept for me. Hopefully you said the slope is negative 1 fourth and the y-intercept is 0, 2. This graph is already pre-labeled and scaled. If it was one of yours, you probably need to do it yourself. Starting at 0, positive 2 this time, we're now going to be two units above the origin. This slope is negative. That tells me we're going to go down and to the right. In this case, because it's negative 1 fourth, we go down 1 and 4 to the right. Now, I don't have enough room to do this again on my graph, so I'll do the opposite. The opposite of this would be to go 1 up and then 4 to the left. That would be over here. I really like having three points because it helps me to get my line really straight. Taking my ruler, I can draw on the line. Next to it, I'll write the equation. Now this last example looks a little different. It's not in the form y equals mx plus b. In this case, the x and the y's are on the same side. Looking at it, I cannot tell you what the slope and y-intercept is. I'll need to rewrite it in slope-intercept form. This means I'm going to have to get the y by itself. To begin, I need to move everything that's on the same side as y to the other side. This means the 12x has to move. Currently, it's a positive 12x. The opposite of adding 12x would be to subtract it. So I'll do that from both sides. Now, when I line it up on the other side, this does not mean that I'm actually going to subtract 15 minus 12x. They're not like terms. Instead, I'll just rewrite it. I'm going to say it's negative 3y, bringing that down, equals, and then the negative 12x plus 15. I tend to write the x before the constant because I want the form y equals mx plus b. The x should be before the constant. <clears throat> My last step is to divide by the negative 3. I want to get it down to a 1y, so I'll divide each and every piece by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 leaves me a 1y. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 is a positive 4, so that leaves me 4x. And then 15 divided by negative 3 is a negative 5. <clears throat> My next step is to identify the slope and y-intercept. And the slope of this line <coughs> is 4, and the y-intercept would be 0, negative 5. Again, make sure you write it as a coordinate. I can now quickly graph this line. Again, one more time, this graph has a label and scale already. Most of the ones on the tests or quizzes will not. It's your responsibility to make sure you put x, y, and numbers. Starting with the y-intercept, Visualize, where would I plot the point 0, negative 5? It's on the bottom. 0, negative 5 is 5 units below the origin, down there. Where's my next point going to be? If you said 4 units up and 1 to the right, you're correct. 1, negative 1 would be my next point. Now I'm going to do this one more time, so visualize one more time. Where's my last point going to be? If, again, you said 4 units up and 1 to the right, good job. This one's at 2, comma 3. Each time, because the slope is 4, we'll go up 4 units and 1 to the right. Last step, we draw the line and write the equation. I hope this video helps you to understand how to do slope-intercept form for a linear equation. Thanks for watching.